Hello and welcome back to another box tutorial. I haven't done one in a while. Um, today we're going to have a look at redstone energy cells and uh, conduits. And we're going to do this quite quickly. You know, like no one's really looking forward to a 20 minute video. So let's get through it as fast as we can. All right. So first you need to make an energy cell frame. And this is made using electrum ingots and hardened glass. So how do you make those? Okay. So for electrum ingots, you need to make an electrum blend. So very much like bronze. Um, you have to make the dust first. You do that using gold and silver. That makes two of them, so it's not too bad. You smelt that up into ingots, and then you have the ingots needed. Uh, apart from that, you also need hardened glass. That's pulverized obsidian. You can also use obsidian dust and lead. Now, I believe it's a one to two ratio. She, uh, these should be switched around. So you only need 16 obsidian dust for 32 ingots, I believe. And it will make you some hardened glass. Cool. So then you can make this also using a diamond. So it's overall, it's not too expensive, but it is sort of end game because you need to get diamonds. You need to get obsidian. Cool. Uh, then we want to fill it. And as the name suggests, a redstone NG cell, we need to put redstone in it. Now you use the magma crucible for this and the liquid tra uh, transposer. So the magma crucible will smell down any redstone into molten redstone. As you can see, I've got 800 um, here. And then you put that in a liquid transposer. So if you put this just next to each other, that'll work just fine. So this one is full, as you can see. So I'm going to put my energy cell frame just in here. Now, be careful that this is set to this way and not this way. Cool. Boom, that's going to do its work. It's going to take a little bit and then we're going to get a full energy cell frame. <coughs> but we're not done yet because next we're going to actually finish the, the um, cell. I'm just going to wait a little bit. Oh, there we go. Full. Perfect. Now we put that in the middle here. And we also need a redstone conductance coil. Now this is a little bit different than the um, receiving one only. So you use gold for that, but for this you use electrum. So two redstone and electrum ingot will make you a redstone conductance coil. Nice. Put that in the bottom and boom. We're all finished. We now have a redstone energy cell. Now this thing is pretty cool. I've got one set up here already. This one is empty, but this one is full. Uh, you can set the max input, the max output. It only goes up to 100, which is a bit of a shame if you want to run a lot of um, quarries on it. It doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work, but, you know, as soon as you get to probably about five of them, uh, you get over the limit, so you have to have multiple of them, but that's, that's okay. Uh, also, if you have a massive uh, power farm, 100 input is, is quite little, really. <laughs> that's only like, was it 25 biofuel engines running on uh, ethanol, so... You might want to have a few more of them. Uh, this shows you some information, blah, 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 blah. And the redstone control. This is the same for all thermal expansion mods, so you should be able to know what it does. Cool. So once you place it, uh, you can't remove it by just hitting it, or maybe you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> for that, you use the prototype on the wrench. Now, other wrenches will work, I believe, but I've always used this one because it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, but it does need diamonds. Yes, and sign wool. This has to be sign wool, not white wool, for example. So let's make one of those, and you just shift right click, boom, you can pick it up. Now, the cool thing about this thing is that it saves its energy. So this one was empty, of course, it's still empty. Um, I don't know if it works in creative, but it should. So if I pick this up and I put it down again, it's still full. It also works if it's half full, of course. Very nice. Now, the mod that adds this is called Thermal Expansion and it, they also have some extra energy pipes because the conductive pipes in Buildcraft are quite meh to be honest, <laughs> like that. just not, not as fun. These are much better, so what you use is electrum ingots and hardened glass like before and you make these energy conduits. Let's make 20. These ones you also put in your transposer with molten redstone and it'll start making. Boom. Redstone energy conduit. Nice. Very nice. Let's make seven of them. That, that'll be enough. Cool. So now you have everything needed to set up power with thermal expansion. Now this uses the same as everything else. So um, Minecraft jewels from Buildcraft. 
and it's of course usable with any Billcraft machine. So let's set up a, what shall we do? Let's set up a, a spill. Why not? I, I don't know why. Still, sorry, not spill. <laughs> Oh, okay. So put one of these up. Redstone energy cell, can put it anywhere we want. And then the only thing you have to be careful of is that this won't really work. Because these cables, or NG conduits, have two modes. And this error means it only transfers power in. And in one block you cannot have both. So if I change this to out, they're both going to do out. So there's no energy coming in there. Which is a shame. So instead, I would just put it two way, or alternatively, you can just put it next to it. That will work as well, supposedly. Cool. So once you place these, you can see they're both blue. Now we don't want power going into this, so we'll hit it once with the Omni wrench, and boom! Now it's giving power out, and this will fill up with power. That is pretty cool, isn't it? You can see the power went down as well. Nice. Now this thing takes. I think it holds 4,000 or something um, Minecraft Jules, but you can see that this goes a little bit slower now That is because these cables always lose 5% of the Minecraft Jules that goes over it uh, Actually, I should reconsider that amount because it might have changed in the last update, but uh, it, it's a it's a percent a flat percentage So no matter how far this cable goes, it'll always use only that flat percentage and that's very very nice compared to all the other um, pipes there are because they usually lose it per block. Nice. So this is a very simple setup. And if I needed to go to a quarry, for example, I can just go boom, boom, quarry, done. Uh, very, very, very nice system. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about the Redstone NG cell in just under eight minutes. Pretty good. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.